In this video, I'm doing a Fiverr gig review and giving some advice on how to make it even better. My name is Brian from Ridgeback Productions, and I help coach voiceover artists to grow their business, generate more income, and also provide my own voiceover services. I've been doing it for about five years now. Love to do it. So in this video, I'm taking a Fiverr gig and just kind of going over it and give you some actionable advice on how to make it better and make these small little tweaks that really drive more traffic to your freelance site and help you uh, make more money. So let's do a review of this Fiverr gig. Okay, the very first thing that I'm noticing about this gig that just stands out is I will make them take notice. That could mean so many different things. Uh, that's the first thing that I would change here. I would make them take notice using what? Voiceover. I'll make them take notice using my voiceover skills, or I will voice over your promo or commercials to, ha to make them take notice. I will be your American voiceover artist to help them take notice. I just don't like that. I will make them take notice. It's too vague. It doesn't really tell what this seller is selling. Just based on that title, you don't know if they write copyright, if they do video editing, they're a comic book artist. You don't know. So I would change that. I, I think the title, that's really, really important. You're going to drive more traffic with a better title that tells what you do, specifically for keywords. If someone's searching a voiceover artist, uh, he's not going to show up. So the next thing we're looking at is the gig picture. The gig picture, there, he's using a video, which I like. But there's a trick that you can do for the gig video where when you're editing your video, if you take your gig image and you put it at the beginning or you put it at the end, then what you do is when you have a demo video, which is a great idea. I love that he's doing that. You use the frame of the gig image as your uh, thumbnail. So instead, what happened is demo video, again, great idea, but the video randomly picks a thumbnail and this thumbnail looks like wheat or a field or something. It tells me nothing about what he offers as a gig. I like it. The, the, the demo itself is great. And if you click on it and listen to it, he has an excellent voice and definitely should be getting hired. However, the issue is I can't really tell what he's selling. Another thing that I would adjust is the seller is offering three-day turnaround. Now, I always advise a one-day turnaround because typically a buyer, when they're searching specifically within this price range of $5, a lot of times they're looking for a fast turnaround as well. And three-day turnaround just isn't going to quite cut it, especially if they're filtering by 24-hour turnaround, the gig's not even going to show up. If they don't put that into the filter, it's fine. The gig will show up and it'll likely be passed over quickly because the buyer's going to see that it's three days. They're looking for one day. Now, this is all circumstantial because I don't know if, if this seller can actually turn it around in one day. If they can, awesome. And they should adjust that. If not, you know, you do what you got to do, but it is something that I would change. I'm also seeing that for $5, he's offering 300 words. That's great. Um, and if you're comfortable with that, then stick with that. However, you could easily drop that number count down to even 200 or lower. And I believe in my heart and with the talents that I've worked with in the past, dropping down even 200 words, you're going to make a little bit more money off it and you're not going to lose out on any buyers because of it. It's 300, 300 words is a lot of words for only $5. All right. The next thing that I want to have a look at is the about this gig section. So it, it should be about the gig literally and how much you can help the buyer, what you're going to do for the buyer and what feelings and actions and things are going to happen for the buyer. So what happens is a lot of sellers tend to do this. They put the all about this gig as all about me, the seller. And that's not what it is. So, so if I'm skimming this, I'm seeing words like my and lots of I, it's basically all about what this seller can do. Um, my deep voice is compelling. I have a wide range. I can offer a deep growl to offer high falsetto. 
And then questions, want to reach your audience on a more personal level? Where's the answer to this? Yes, I do. <laughs> Should put, I can, instead of putting it as a question, do you want to re- reach your audience on a more personal level? Put, you will reach your audience on a more personal level. Make it more about them, telling them what's going to happen. So what we have here is convey your intended message with one word. I don't understand. Is that a question? Is that a statement? Which word is it? Create a sense of familiarity with your client. By what? By using a sample script? by using the same script, by using the same voice, by using him. I get what he's going for. I'd like to see him be a little bit more targeted with what he's saying. I provide emotional intelligence and professional precision. Again, we're going to try. Ideally, you want to switch this into it's all client based. It's all about the buyer and what they're going to get. You will receive precision with quick delivery times and a selection of multiple add-ons such as 24-hour fast delivery if that helps you. Additional revisions to help give you as many options as you need. You can have commercial rights and full broadcast rights so you don't have to worry about where you're posting this content. Essentially what you're doing is you're making it sound like it's all about them. So this about the gig section should just be all about how they're going to feel and what they're going to get from you as the seller. Now looking down at the purpose section, we see video narration, audiobook, podcast. That's great. And if that's what the intended purpose is of this gig, that's good. Podcast and video narration don't typically go together. Video narration, audiobook don't typically go together. So what we're looking for is, you know, Fiverr gives you the option, especially if you're a new seller, to have multiple gigs. Your multiple gigs should target, you should have one for video narration, one for audiobook, one for podcast. The idea of having a catch-all just really isn't the best idea. Although I, I want to give him some credit because for purpose, you can have three purposes. I like that he has all three filled out. He has video narration, which is probably the number one most searched purpose on Fiverr. It's the most sold voiceover skill or purpose is video narration. That's good. He he has that. Uh, There are some other purposes that might fit his intended reach better, but not too bad overall. That does look good. Looks good. Age range, adult, great. Tone, you can have up to five tones. He has angry, authoritative, calming, emotional, sexy. In my opinion, I think the tones should match. Each gig should be specific. If you want to have an angry gig where you do angry voices, then have a purpose that fits for podcasts or audiobooks or gaming or something like that. And then you're going to go with angry, authoritative, an authoritative, angry person or an angry, calming person. I've said this before, and I do think it applies in a lot of aspects. When you try and throw out a net to catch everything, you end up catching nothing. So to say that something you could do angry, but you could also do calming, I just don't see that it goes well together. But I understand, and I compliment him for the effort, and I do like that because maybe it is working for him. In my professional opinion, I think the best way is to narrow your gig down and not try and attach everything. Because if I'm looking for him to do like a a meditating video narrative for me, but he can do angry, I, I don't want someone that can do angry. I want someone that does calming and emotional and maybe sexy. Those three would fit, but I wouldn't want someone that's angry. That's just my opinion. So as we scroll down, we can see that he's a young, talented, aspiring voice actor. I wouldn't put aspiring. I would be a professional. Young and talented professional voice actor. If you're working, if you're getting paid, you're professional. That's the definition of professional is you do it for work. I wouldn't put aspiring. It makes people think that you're not good enough for him and that a you shouldn't be charging as much as you do. Even though you're only charging $5, I wouldn't put aspiring. Be the person you are. If you are young and talented, great. You are a professional. You're getting paid to do this. Put young, talented, professional voice actor. Basy baritone, mid-range American accent, great. Looking to build a resume and pursue this full time. I wouldn't see, I wouldn't admit that. Looking to build a resume and pursue this full time. See, I would just get rid of that entire line. 
I wouldn't say that your objective is that you're trying to build a resume and pursue it full time. You already do it. The buyer doesn't need to know if it's something that you only put in an hour a day or you put in eight hours a day. Buyer doesn't need to know that. You know what you're doing. You know you're trying to build a resume. The buyer doesn't need to know that. They need to know that you have the confidence to handle what they need, and they don't necessarily want to look for somebody that's just starting out and trying to build up their resume. It says, I'll pour my heart and soul into each project because this is worth much more than $5 to me. I do like that. That's a good statement, and I would for sure keep that. That that doesn't take away from anything as him being an amateur or trying to build his resume or pursue it full-time. It's just a good heartfelt message. I like that. I definitely like that. I would keep that one in. And finally, to wrap this up, if we're looking at tags, you can have five tags. We have male voiceover. We have commercials, narration, radio, voice acting. Here's what I would do. Combine. Take the max character count and fit them all into tags. So you could have male voiceover commercials as one. Have the spaces, but then if someone searches male, you show up. Voiceover, you show up. Commercials, you show up. If they put in male voiceover for commercials, he's going to show up towards the top. You want to combine them as much as possible to fit in as many tags as possible. You also want to go through your your gig and not repeat a lot of things. If you already have mail or voiceover in your title, you don't need it in your tag. Use the tags as available slots for things that you don't necessarily do or you're available to do like e-learning or video gaming or other things that apply that you don't have in your title. So when Fiverr, when a buyer is, is searching for a seller, a voiceover seller, It goes in order of title, description, tags. So your title is the most important thing to have, which again is why I strongly think that this seller should adjust their title. Title is the first thing that pops up. Then it scrubs anything in the description for things that might fit the keywords that a buyer is searching. And then the last thing it searches is tags. So you don't want to repeat a lot of things. A lot of times our description is going to repeat some of the words in our title, and that's fine. It can't be helped, but really try and focus on your related tags and make sure that you're not repeating words that are in the description or the title because you're kind of duplicating things that don't need to be duplicated. You should be adding new keywords and tags that can also be searched. Um, This gentleman, the seller putting voice acting as a tag, if it's already in the description or in his title, it doesn't make it any stronger. It's just already there. So in general, I think the seller has a great gig, a lot of options. Listening to his demo, his demos sound good. He has a great voice, a good um, acoustic treatment in the background. It sounds like he's recording in a pretty decent space. A lot of um, meditation work that he's offering. I think he's got a lot. He's got a lot going on here. With some small changes, this guy can can make a lot more money and draw in more buyers. I think. I think he's off to a great start, and I applaud him for this. I think it's awesome. Well, that's going to do it for this Fiverr gig review. If you would like to have your Fiverr gig reviewed for free, and I am happy to mention your name, give you a plug in the video if you would like. Go ahead into the description below and you can click on that. There's a short form you could fill out and I'd be happy to check out your Fiverr gig, give you some ideas. We can meet on a um, consultation for free, no charge to you, about a 30 minute consultation where we can go over your Fiverr gig. I'll give you some great advice. You can ask ask me as many questions as you like and we can get you going on, on the right track in the right directions, taking the right steps. And that's basically that's basically what you need to get going and make some money in voiceover is you just need a little bit of guidance sometimes and I'm here for you. So if you are interested in getting a free Fiverr gig review with consultation, I mean, I'm offering the package deal here Go in the video description below, click on that, and we'll get you all set up. I want to thank you for joining me. Are you finding success on Fiverr? Do you find more success on Upwork? Those are the two main freelance sites. Hopefully, you're using both because you want to maximize your exposure. We'll see you next time. Thanks.
Are you looking for a youthful, deep, and compelling voice that can perform a wide range, the variety of tones and inflection? Zach might be your guy. Go ahead and check him out on Fiverr. It's Zach 2D, Z A C K, the number 2 D. Or you can just go down into the video description where I have a link to his profile.